Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. I'm sharing five bee themed DIYs. Each project is easy and affordable to create. I really hope that you enjoy today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and now let's go ahead and get right into today's projects. For the first DIY today, I'm gonna to be starting with this unfinished wood hexagon framed piece. This is from Michaels. And then I'm painting the inside of this piece with my folk art chalk paint in the color yellow okra. And then for the inside of the frame, I'm using my folk art chalk paint in the color rich black. And then I'm painting that same black color around the outside of the frame as well. I'm also going to be using this unfinished wood bee cutout piece. This one is from Joanne Fabrics and I'm painting this entire piece with that same rich black chalk paint. Then once this paint was completely dry, I wanted to give it a little bit of a distressed look. So I just took some sandpaper and sanded over the entire piece. I wanted the frame of this piece to look distressed just like the B portion. So I used that same sandpaper and just sanded around all of the areas that were painted black. Next, I'm gonna be using this unfinished wood mini candlestick. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I'm using my folk art wood tint in the color Walnut to stain this piece. I'm then gonna be putting everything together. I'm hot gluing the B shape right in the center of my framed hexagon. I'm then using some hot glue on the top of the candlestick to attach the framed hexagon. And then I did wanna add some ribbon to this piece. So I'm using this cream color and yellow ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and it was a little bit thick, so I'm just cutting it down into a thinner piece. And then I'm just making a really simple bow, and I am leaving the little threads on the ribbon because I wanted it to look a little bit more rustic. And then for the ends of the ribbon, I am cutting those on a diagonal. And then I'm just using some hot glue to attach that ribbon right at the bottom of the hexagon shape at the top of the candlestick. And this is the piece all finished, a really easy and affordable piece to add to your bee decor. Now for DIY number two, for this one, I'm gonna be starting with this unfinished wood hexagon shape that is attached to a wooden dowel. I have already cut down the dowel to just a few inches. And then I am just gonna be using my folk art wood tint in the color Walnut to give that dowel a stained look. Then I'm gonna be taking my Waverly chalk paint in the color Ivory and painting the entire hexagon. I'm also gonna be using this unfinished wooden spool from Hobby Lobby, and I did need the hole in the top of this to be a little bit larger, so I'm just using my drill in a large drill bit, and I'm just making that hole a little bit larger so that my dowel will fit right inside. I'm then using that same walnut colored wood tint to give this spool a stained look, just like the wood dowel. Then I'm gonna be using this Sweet as Honey stencil. This is from Michaels a couple years ago. I'm just gonna be getting it centered right on the front of my hexagon. And then for the color, I'm just using my rich black chalk paint from Folk Art with a stencil brush. Then once that paint has dried, I'm gonna be removing the stencil. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of a yellow around all of the edges. So I'm using my folk art chalk paint in the color yellow okra around all of the edges. And then I did want to add a little bit of ribbon on the bottom. So I'm using some of this yellow and white polka dot ribbon and I'm cutting two pieces of this ribbon a couple inches in length. And then I'm also going to be using some black ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm cutting that the same length as the polka dot ribbon. And then I'm just gonna be stacking the ribbon, starting with black, then the yellow, then the black, then the yellow. I'm just gonna be gathering them in the center and then using a piece of jute twine and tying that around the center. I'm then cutting all of the ends of my ribbon into a V to give them a little bit more detail. To add even more detail, I'm going to be adding two of these wooden bees, and I lost the clip, but I did hot glue them around my words, sweet as honey. And then I'm going to be hot gluing my ribbon right at the bottom of my hexagon at the top of my dowel. Then to add just one last detail piece, I decided to create a really small jute bow and then hot glue that in the center of my ribbon. I am going to be hot gluing my dowel right inside of my wooden spool for the last step. 
this is what it looks like all finished. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. I think it is super cute and it is the perfect piece to add to your bee themed tiered tray. Next up is DIY number three. For this one, I'm starting with this framed wood piece from Target. I got this in the dollar spot last year. And the first thing I'm doing is taking my folk art wood tin in walnut and I'm staining the entire frame of this piece. Then I'm gonna be painting the inside of this with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. This piece did have grooves in the center for like wood planks. So here I'm just using that same folk art wood tin and I'm taking a very small brush and just putting that in all of the cracks between the wood. Next, I'm gonna be using this Welcome to Our Home wood cutout and this one is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna be using one of my black paint markers. And this one is from Timu. And I'm just coloring in all of this entire wood word cutout. I'm also going to be using this mini bee garland. This one I just recently got from Michaels. It was clearanced out and it is from Ashland. And I just wanted it to kind of go across the top like swagged. So I'm going to be hot gluing the two ends of the jute at the very top edges of my frame. And then I did end up flipping the frame over and then just securing those jute pieces along the backside as well. I'm using two of these unfinished wood honey dippers and these are from Hobby Lobby this year. And I'm gonna be using that same wood tint in the color walnut to stain the bottom of the dippers. And then for the top of the dippers, I'm gonna be using my folk art chalk paint in the color yellow okra. I'm then gonna be using hot glue on the backside of the Welcome to Our Home wood cutout to attach it to the center of my sign. Then once I had that attached, I decided I wanted to switch up the color of the yellow bees. I wanted to paint them that same yellow okra color that I painted the top of the wood dippers. So here I'm just very lightly painting those bees. Then once those were painted, I am going to be using some yellow and white striped ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I already had a few of these strips that were pretty thin that I cut down earlier in the video, but I wanted these to be even thinner. So here I'm just cutting them very thin. Then I'm gonna be tying them in a knot right at the bottom of the honey dippers, just to add a little bit more detail. And then I did just cut the ends of them in a diagonal. Then I'm going to be using some hot glue to attach them at the bottom of each side, kind of on a diagonal, just going around the words, welcome to our home at the bottom. Here is the sign all finished. I absolutely love how this one turned out. It was so easy to do and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful and it is one of my favorite pieces from today's video. Moving right along into DIY number four, for this one, I'm using this black wood ladder that I just recently picked up at Dollar Tree. It's super cute like it is, but I wanted to change it up a bit. So I just cut the hanger off the back and I'm also cutting the home word off the front because I wanted to shorten up those jute strings a little bit. So once I've shortened them up, I'm just re-hot gluing them right where they were. And then I'm going to be using these sunflowers from Hobby Lobby. And the first one I did was just hot glued it right above the home word. And then I basically just like did opposite sides of the ladder and hot glued sunflowers all the way down the ladder. Then once I had the sunflowers on, I thought it would be super cute to add some of these wood bees. And for these, I just hot glued them on the ladder, just opposite of the sunflowers. And I did do the bees going in opposite directions as well. So then once I had the bees attached, I did end up using a little bit more hot glue underneath the word home, just to make sure that it stays secure. And then I did use two more of those wooden bees and I hot glued those at the top of the home word. That was it for this DIY. It was super easy and I think it added so much detail to this ladder and it is perfect for bee decor theme.
Now for the fifth and final DIY in today's video, I'm gonna be starting with this round wooden wreath form. This is from the Target dollar spot and I've had it in my craft selection for a couple years. And I'm gonna be using this burlap beef fabric and this is from Dollar Tree. So I took my wreath form and I placed it over the bees and then I just used a marker to trace around the wreath form just so that I know what size I need. Then I'm gonna be cutting on the inside of where I just made my circle because I'm gonna need the circle just a little bit smaller than the size that I just drew. So then once that's all cut out, I'm then gonna be hot gluing this burlap bee fabric to the back side of the wreath form. And I just did it in very small sections. I would do hot glue, then place the burlap down, and I just pulled it pretty tight so that those wrinkles in the fabric would be pulled away. Next, I'm gonna be using this yellow and cream color ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And since it is kind of thick, I am cutting it right down the center to make it a little bit thinner. And I am gonna be cutting it down so that it's about six inches in length. So I'm just gonna be cutting several of these and then I'm also gonna be using black ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be cutting those the same length, probably about six inches, maybe five inches, just however long you want it to be. And then once I have those all cut, I'm gonna be just placing them crisscross on top of each other, going between the striped ribbon and the black ribbon. And then once I had them all just placed on top of each other, I just kind of gathered them in the middle and then I took a piece of jute twine and tied that right in the center. And I did fold the ribbon over a little bit. I don't really know if this is a way to make a bow or not, but it's the way I made this one. I'm then gonna be using this Welcome Woodward cutout. And this one is from Michael's last Halloween season. And I'm gonna be painting the entire word with my yellow okra chalk paint from Folk Art. And then I'm just gonna start placing everything together. So on top of the wreath on the top left-hand side, I ended up hot gluing those pieces of ribbon. And then right in the center of the ribbon, I'm just hot gluing one of the sunflowers from Hobby Lobby. I'm then hot gluing the welcome word, kind of a, a diagonal on the front of my wreath form. And then I thought it needed a little bit more detail. So what I ended up doing was just cutting all of the ribbons into a diagonal just to give the ends a little bit more of a better look. And then the welcome word I thought needed to pop just a little bit. So I'm taking one of my white paint markers and I'm going around all of the outside edges of the entire word. And I think that made a huge difference. And here is the Be a Welcome Wreath all finished. This one was super easy to do and I think it looks so cute. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And as always, I would love to hear in the comments down below which DIY from today's video was your favorite. And again, thank you so much for watching.